Today, we're inside the Ping Tour Van with an episode of The Swing Report talking about the new Ping Glide Forged Pro Wedges. We'll tell you everything you need to know in this video. If you enjoy this content, drop a like, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel for more information here coming in the future. And jump to the end of the video for a quick synopsis on these Glide Forged Pro Wedges. Hey there golfers, I'm Drew Holder, Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Michael Geiger here in the Ping Tour Van. We've been fortunate enough to kind of invade the Ping Tour Van today. We've got some new wedges. Glide Forged Pro yes, from Ping do. here. Um, Ping, you know, of course, one of the premier golf manufacturers out there and uh, it includes the wedges. Uh, the wedges are no exception for sure. Glide Forged Pro wedges, first of all, just look at them, they're beauties. Um, but of course, the performance is what matters for, for golfers out there. So we can kind of get into that piece here. Um, they're, they're a forged design, give that soft feel, provide that workability. Um, but I mean, golfers just are gonna love the way this thing looks and it does pack the versatility and the shot making needed. Yep, what, what you really see with this wedge is it's a wedge that's built for a wide range of handicaps and skill levels. But what's great about what Ping did with this is there's so many options that we'll dive into later uh, with grind and with different bounce options, uh, different relief, just all kinds of customizations uh, that will really, that the players that are looking for something super specific, mm -hmm. they will find that with this wedge. Absolutely. So here are the kind of the key details that everybody's going to need to know about these wedges. So uh, number one, forged 8620 carbon steel by. That's going to give you that soft feel, that forged feel that really the pros prefer. Um, you're also going to get machined face, machined cut grooves, right? So that's going to provide that bite that you want on the greens when you need to hop and stop a shot, for example. That's what's going to provide that for you. Uh, also, these wedges are uh, feature that Hydro Pearl 2.0 finish. Uh, so that's going to help these wedges perform and provide that spin, whether it's dry or whether maybe you're playing in the rain, maybe you're playing your dew sweeping in the morning. Uh, you provide, still get that bite um, with that Hydro Pearl 2.0 finish. And in terms of the, uh, you know, the specs and the stock offering, so the stock steel shaft is the ZZ115. The stock graphite shaft is the Alta CB Slate. Then the stock grip is the Golf Pride Light Tour Velvet with that Arcos technology. Um, Ping and Arcos, have, that's a pretty cool uh, partnership there. I'm a big fan of Arcos, so another reason uh, to get on board with the Ping Glide Forge Pro Wedges. Uh, now, getting getting into the, the shaping and then some of the grinds here. So, key thing that Ping did with the shaping is they've made it just a little bit of a shorter blade length by yep. kind of reducing some of that material from the hosel to the kind of the grooves where those start. So that kind of provides a little bit more of a little bit smaller profile, but also some workability there. Definitely, I think that's something really, the first thing that jumped out to me when you look down at this club is you see that little bit of relief, but you still see that nice kind of high toe you see, a, a definitely, even though it's a bit of a shorter blade length that may suit sort of the better player, there's still so much forgiveness, there's still so much technology mm -hmm. there to help golfers of all handicaps. Yeah, and so you talked about some relief and the different options. So really two key grind options, the S and the T available with these wedges. The S grind is gonna be kind of the more popular type. There's, uh, you know, gonna fit the widest range of golfers, ample bounce there. Um, and it's, there's, I think it's 50, 52, 54, 56, 58, and 60. So it's gonna cover all the lofts you really need um, in there. And along with that S grind, you're also gonna get that rounded leading edge as well. So, um, and that's, again, that's gonna fit the widest range of golfers. And the T grind is a little bit different, less bounce, but if you're that type that really likes to open or close that face around the greens um, with this particular wedge in your bag, that's where the T grind will come into play. So two options there, and like you said, it's gonna cover pretty much everybody. Definitely, and that's, again, with the customization, they have two specific, really hyper-customized options, the 59S mm -hmm. and then the 62T. So for example, this is the 62T, which was really, a lot of tour feedback came from Augusta National, uh, needing a lot of uh, relief uh, to really nip those those tight lie shots. And uh, for players that, that want that, Ping has it for you. Absolutely, and I got the 59S in my hand, another new offering from Ping in their wedges. The 59S, another popular one from feedback from both well, really pros and amateurs because Definitely. that high toe kind of profile, that shape has become really popular. And the 59S provides that. It's kind of like that I2, the I2 shape and look yep. that's been so popular. So really a paint trademark for decades now, that I2 shape. And that's what this 59S provides. Um, and it, again, it's a little bit, little bit less bounced than the traditional S grind, but um, a lot of the same features as the S grind. So those two options are kind of going to be signatures of the Glide Forge Pro wedges here. But um, yeah, I mean, these, these things are beauties. They have the performance, they have the technology. I want to go test them out on the range here on the practice area. You want to go do it? Let's do it. All right, Michael, we're out on the practice range today. We got our wedges, Glide Forge Pro. 
Um, we're going to test them out now. Anything 70 yard pitch shot and in, flop shots, bunker shots, you name it. Uh, it's a great morning out here to, to get some wedge shot practice in here. It's a beautiful too. morning. There's a little bit of dew on the ground, but we really should have no excuses because this hydro pearl That's finish true. That's true. should get the job done. I didn't done. even think of that, but I'm ready to go. Let's do it. Ooh. It's definitely a beautiful wedge to look at. Yeah. It's not clicky either. It's like... No. It's soft, for sure. There it is. Because these are shots here when you need a wedge that you can trust. These little half like pitch shots, half full shots right. almost. It's kind of that shot you need it to either, you need to be able to hit the one that releases or the one that, you know, has to carry a bunker and stop quick. Yeah, I'll take that one. Oh yeah, there's that nice check on it. Ooh, look at the bite on that one. <laughs> look at that, a little bit of bite. You're probably not used to playing grooves this fresh. Not at all. So far. Yeah, it's oh, got yeah. that low Take checker. Take that one. It's got that low checker. Gotta hit kind of a higher one. Oh, that's yeah. beauty. That's a beauty. See, cause you got the, uh, you got the 62T right now, don't this you? This is the 62T, so this so, is the one Yep, this is that kind of masters, especially on a tight lie where exactly that masters know. grind where the uh, the tour players really wanted a, mm -hmm. a, a grind that could perform, you know, on really really tight lies, and uh, well they pulled it off. I'm trying to hit another high one. Soft. Ooh, right over the pin. That'll check. Yep. Too much spin, Drew. Not used to it. Oh yeah. Beauty. Look at that. Look at the control. Michael, these are the shots that well, I end up playing a lot because I short side myself. Me but as well. This is where you need that wedge to kind of, kind of plop one up in the air, land soft, and then you're not without a lot of green to work with. Well, you got that 62 T in your this hand. This thing should come down like a bean bag, Drew. Yeah, yeah. That's gonna be the soft one for sure to use. Oh, soft. Look at it. <laughs> this thing. <laughs> 62 degrees. I could spin a little bit. Oh, nice. tasty. Very nice. We can get. Yeah. 62 degrees. We can go after this one, Drew. Oh yeah. See, this, this, that shot necessarily doesn't really call for like an extreme flop, but you're able to hit it. Exactly. And you can also hit that kind of releasing tumbler one, yep. which is another, another shot I kind of look for in a wedge. Like that. Yep. And it just grabs. Very impressed with these grooves. Oh, yeah. That's classy right there. I'm just gonna give myself a random lie for this last one. Ooh, that's it. that's kind of a finicky one. It's almost firm. Can I land this in the fringe yep. and let it run close? Oh yeah. Just like that. Look at that. Just peppering the hole. You found yourself in a bunker, Drew. I did. Actually, it's, it's funny. I'm playing eight balls yeah. and they all end up in the same spot. Well, so. you're consistent. I am, I am. So we're gonna, get eight up and down then. This is the 59S, correct? It is, the 59S. A little bit of a uh, little bit of more bounce compared to the 62. Anyway. Yeah. That will uh, help me with Should the be perfect. Here. And that high toe shape too, which I'm used to and I like to look at. Okay, just a thud on the sand. Perfect sound. Look at the loft on that. Two for oh. two, buddy. Woo that was a soft landing too. I'm gonna be honest too, bunkers are not usually my strength, but 
You wouldn't uh, believe that after seeing that one. They are now. Six inches away. Soft? Oh, yeah. So much spin. It's actually, I'm, I'm, I'm actually not used to that. Like, I'm expecting these to kind of roll out no. a little bit more. And I think a lot of golfers at home are used to seeing their shot, their bunker shots release, yeah. you know, 15, 20 feet. Right. But with this thing, it's, it's just about a hop and stop shot. That was more of a thud and run. Yeah. Even then, perfect. All right, take your gander at it here, Michael. All right, I'll trade you. That's going to spin. Ooh, yeah. yeah. This thing cuts through perfectly. The, the interaction through the strike mm -hmm. is just butter. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Got this is more. perfect out of the bunkers, Drew. It is. I mean, look at look how tight these are. It's not too shabby. You know, I can kick it, at least one of those in with my my foot. Got a couple of easy, makeable, you know, short putts that uh, I'm sure are for birdie. Yes, of course. Well, Michael, we're back on the range here uh, to do some full swing testing, kind of the last piece of the uh, Glide Forge Pro kind of testing here. But around the greens, it was really nice. Yeah, I like what I've seen so far. I'm curious to see how it performs on these full shots. like that just ripped through the turf very cleanly yeah what was the uh, spin on that one the spin on that one was 10,005 that's pretty good I, I like that that's enough spin for 101 sure one carry oh yeah that's my number well 100 is my number but 101 is close enough three right? footer coming back not bad interested in that one a little bit of a face open there yeah tailed on you a little bit spin right down to 9300 okay 95 yard carry we'll see if that's my miss and it's like what you got 15 feet up short? the hill exactly yeah. Yeah, no. 15 feet up the hill short right is for a miss is about as good as you're going to get with a wedge much better than long left all right now there's a thin one That'll be interesting. Probably lower spin. It's actually up to 12,000 there. Oh, wow. Well. 108 carry, that kind of flatter ball okay, flight all right. kind of sailed on you. It did. Right, I'll hit one more so I can hit a tight one there, right around 100 yards. Yep. Oh, yeah. Be Pretty good. 9,000 spin rate, 103 carry. Oh yeah, it's inside 10 I'll take feet. it. I'll take it, that's a birdie, right? That's money. All right, Michael, you're up. All right. Oh yeah, a little pull. It's so like a soft, it's like a soft thud almost. It is. It's, it's not, it's certainly not clicky. You can tell it's forged. It's solid, but you still have that sort of feel through the strike. Yeah. Sometimes wedges can feel a little, a little too soft. I like that this one, you still feel like you can go after a little mm -hmm. bit on the full shots, yeah. which is huge. We should note too, there is, I mean, it's a little bit drier now, but there was, you know, a lot of dew on the ground this yep. morning. So the fact that it's still spinning for sure over 9,000 into the 10,000s plus for Definitely. Us. I mean, that one was 9,400. Definitely. So, even with a pull there too. How do you feel about that one? Really impressed, really yeah. impressed. Uh, again, it's just, it just feels so solid, mm -hmm. but you still feel like you can work it a bit, like you can you can move right. it if you want to. You could flight it a tad if you wanted to. Exactly. I'm actually going to try to do that right now. That last one, one, if you're 100 yards is your target, that was you know 98. So perfect. Let's try to hit one. Let's try to hit one right uh, right around 100, a bit lower. That is a beautiful, beautiful shot path there. Michael, we've completed our Ping Glide Forged Pro wedge testing. Um, and, and wedge testing is always interesting because, I mean, every player really uses their wedges a little bit differently. So yep. it's kind of a, you know, we sort of picked a few shots we both kind of find ourselves in, um, you know, starting with that kind of deeper pitch shot, working our way in. Uh, but, it's, you know, we've talked about the looks already. They're, they look fantastic, but they also performed really well. They do. And again, like you mentioned there, I'm someone personally who plays a lot of shots around the greens with one club, my yeah. lob wedge. And so when I when I take a look at a wedge, a new wedge like the, like the ping, 
uh, Glide Forge Pro. I really ask it to do a lot of things. I want the low checker, mm -hmm. I want kind of that high runner, and then I want the super high flop. And this one really checked all the boxes, mm -hmm. including this full shot here. Uh, really impressed across the board. Yeah, I know. I was especially impressed. So we could talk about kind of the, the spin, right? And we talked about the Hydro Pro finish early on. In the dew, the spin retention was great from really every shot. I mean, Definitely. we hit, you know, the pitch shot, we hit like kind of the, the open face, sort of almost a flop shot with no green to work with. When we need a soft landing and not a lot of rollout, these wedges, well, both the 59S and the 62T, like you say, check the boxes there. Um, we kind of had the short runner that would check up for us, and then bunker shots as well. I mean, the landing was so soft on all of them. The spin generated that, you know, I think, well, for me, I know I'm not used to playing grooves that fresh, no. but also the, the clubs performed really well and they have the bite there. No, there's and, so much spin that you really feel like you you have a margin to play with where you can go after it a yeah. bit more, and it's not going to take off on you once it hits the ground. You can play a shot knowing that it's going to land on where it's it's going to land and it's going to come back if anything it's not going to take off on right. you once it hits the green yeah i know because I, I mean sometimes i'm a little tentative because you're like afraid of it kind of you know almost like your chunk and runs that roll out almost but in these ones you can almost take that extra aggressive swing and if it lands at or past the pin you're still not going to have more than 10 feet uh, exactly from your shot which is uh, a really nice kind of buffer to have when you're approaching a shot and you're getting ready to hit it so um, but let's kind of go through some of the shots a little bit here just very quickly yep those pitch shots i really like that kind of that check and then kind of almost stop. Yep. Um, and I actually had a couple of them come back a little bit too, which was really nice on those shots. And it's nice to have on those when, especially if you're a player that hits a lot of you know deeper drives on par fours, you have that kind of half Definitely. swing, half swing your edge in there. I think that 62T especially around the greens, that, that kind of bare lie, if you like to mm -hmm. open up the face, if you like to really generate a lot of spin, this thing is going to go with you. It's going to be peanut butter and jelly around the greens. It's, it's quite a combo. Absolutely. And then Bunker Shots 59S was really nice. Uh, perfect, nice little thud on the sand. And it was landing so soft. I'm so used to the ball kind of rolling out yep. from the sand. But man, this thing was so soft. And you could almost land it within feet of the pin. And it wouldn't go much further than you know, five, 10 feet after that. Exactly. You, you look for versatility where you can, you can kind of close it and play kind of a runner and then mm -hmm. also open it up. And through the, 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 the grind through the sand was perfect. Yeah. Yeah. So, Talking about the wedges now, we've done our testing. Let's kind of get back into, you know, who these wedges fit the most. Obviously, there's all kinds of different lofts, all kinds of different grinds available. Now, they added to that a little bit this year with 59S, 62T. So, yep. um, with these Glide Forge Pro wedges, we've done our testing. Um, where, I mean, where's the target golfer, so to speak, here? I think the target golfer is somewhere in kind of the, for the typical grind, uh, is right around that kind of upper single digit range. Yeah. But what I love about this wedge is that it, it really fits a wide variety mm -hmm. of players. And with the introduction of, of, of kind of specialty grinds like the 62T and the 59S, that's really for kind of that, that lower single digit handicap player um, that's really looking for the kind of top level performance. Mm -hmm. But with, with kind of a rounded edge and, and plenty of forgiveness, this wedge can really appeal to a lot of different players. Absolutely, yeah, you mentioned, I mean, really these things are, it's built for shot making. So if you're someone that gets yep. creative, likes to manipulate the ball flight around the greens, manipulate the shot you're trying to create, um, these Glide Forge Pro wedges offer a ton of different options for you. So that's the really cool thing about these, uh, aside from, of course, the looks and of course, the performance. They look everything. gorgeous. Yes, absolutely. So um, last thing, I think we should probably let golfers know, hey, Second Swing is the place to come get fit for Glide, for Glide Forge Pro wedges. You can stop in and get a wedge fitting with any of our experts, or you can talk to our online fitting and support team if you're not near one of our five stores, and we'll get you set up with a new set of wedges, the Glide Forge Pro. These things are fantastic. They're beautiful, and they perform really well. So, Michael, thanks for joining Absolutely. for this episode of the Swing Report. Uh, the Glide Forge Pro wedges are going to be uh, a big hit here at the end of 2021 and into 2022. Absolutely. Pleasure, Drew. Cheers.